Hello guys, in this video I want to show you a new demo project we released just today to build a school timetable like this one you're seeing on the video now and I will show you some parts of the code and we will discuss how it works. We will discuss eloquent query scopes, configuration and transforming code from controller into services. So stick with me. First about the project. So this is a calendar timetable, weekly timetable for schools, but in theory it could be adapted to any organization that has weekly schedules. And we have a few roles in the system. We have administrators, students and teachers. And if I log in as administrator uh, and see so I can manage users, so teachers, students and classes. Uh, and there are some seated data here, so I can assign student to a class, I can assign a lesson. So basically it all comes down to lessons. So every lesson should have a class, should have a teacher, weekday, which is from Monday to Friday. It's not really pretty, it's, it's a number, but anyway. Uh, and then start time and end time. And from that we have a calendar. So administrator enters class, teacher, weekday from 1 to 7 and start time and end time and then uh, there goes the calendar. Now let's take a look at the code. The code for managing lessons is not that interesting. It's based on our quick admin panel generated so-called CRUDs. It's not really interesting. What is interesting is calendar. So this thing again. Uh, and interesting part is how do we define that the time starts at 8 and not at 1 a.m. or midnight? How do we define the teacher and student view and admin view or class view? Because the, it's the same calendar, but for different people it shows differently. So uh, it can be viewed by class, it can be viewed by teacher or by student, and it filters in a different way. So how to manage that? And we use eloquent query scopes for that. So let's take a look at the code. Controller is really short, right? So we have only one method, index, and we have basically we're filtering all the lessons and in the calendar blade we just show the table. And at first, by the way, we thought to use full calendar JavaScript library for that to show the calendar. But at some point we realized it's not really a calendar. It's called a calendar, but it's actually a timetable of fixed uh, weekdays uh, without any dates. So we don't need to filter weeks. We don't need to... Uh, filter anything else. We can just use simple HTML table with bootstrap styles and just show the lessons as they appear in the timetable. So from this point of view it's pretty simple. Time start, time end for each lesson. So first how we get the data is lessons. We have lessons with class, calendar by role or class ID. What is it? It's not a function. It's a scope. It's eloquent query scope and if we go to our lesson model we have this. Uh, this is called eloquent local scope. So basically you can create a function, scope anything, uh, and then that part becomes uh, the method name from the controller. Uh, and then you can edit the query with adding as many parameters as you want. So basically instead of doing all of that in the controller we're kind of moving that logic into a separate layer and in our case it's a module scope, model scope, that has only one purpose to edit the query, the eloquent query. Also if you haven't heard there is a function called when, eloquent when. So again instead of doing if request input exists so if we have class ID or don't have class ID, uh, we can do when and then chain all the when conditions, all the logic, instead of doing if, else, and if, and something else. So we have when there is no class and when there is a teacher, we are filtering lessons by teacher. If there is a student, we are filtering by student. And if there is a class, we are filtering by class. The next thing I wanted to show you is actually visible here in the scope is this structure, auth user is teacher. And is teacher is not exactly a field in the database users table, it's an attribute. So if we go to user table, user model, sorry, we have, first we have roles. So we have roles and permission system and I will link uh, in the description more detailed description of how we deal with roles and permissions in our quick admin panel generated code so you can read more about that. So that is outside of scope of this video. But what is inside of scope, so how do we get is student or is teacher or is admin? So three functions like this one. So is admin becomes snake case, so attribute is missing, so get is admin attribute becomes 
is admin. Actually, it's not here. So it's teacher and a student is here. So it's teacher and a student. And then we're just filtering user roles. In our case, it's IDs of roles one, three, and four. And if it exists, then that person is an admin. And final thing I wanted to show you here is how to use services in Laravel. So if you can see this line is populating a time range and then in the calendar blade, we are going for each time range. So each time range is basically a line of 8 a.m., 9 a.m. slots, basically slots in other ways, in other words. Uh, so this is generated by a function generate time range. And the logic is we have to have that function separately from the controller somewhere. So in our case, we create a service called time service class. It can be a helper. It, you can call it a helper, but we positioned it as class time service with just one method. And that method just creates the array of time slots of time range. Nothing too fancy, a bit array operations, time formatting with carbon, that's it. And in controller, you can inject, it's called method injection. In any method, you can inject an object which would have a type of basically anything. If you namespace everything correctly, Laravel will resolve it out of the box, like by magic. And then inside of the method, you can use that service object as it would be created already. So we generate that time range with the help of that service. And final, final thing in this video, final advice is to make it configurable. Make your application variables configurable as much as possible. Because imagine uh, if someone takes over that project, so one of you downloads the project and wants to adapt to your own school, which doesn't start the day at 8 a.m. Maybe you start at 7 or maybe you want to have 24 hour calendar. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to easily configure that? And that's exactly what we did here. Config start time and end time are inside of config app PHP. At the end, we have calendar start time and end time. So if we go and change that to seven and refresh the page, as you can see, we have two new time slots. They are empty because there are no lessons, but this is the way how to easily configure stuff in your projects. Basically, that's it. I wanted to show you that project with commenting some parts of the code for you to learn something. Uh, the code is available on GitHub for free. Uh, the link is below in the description. And if you want to have more projects like this one, uh, subscribe to the channel. Any ideas you have for demo projects, shoot them in the comments and see you guys in other videos.